all right what the deal everybody welcome back to the too rich to miss live show right here on youtube and we are going in for a uh we're gonna do a quick video in regards to a different topic another topic that i was going to cover in the previous video but it really deserves its own video and let's just straight up talk about vaccines and what's going on right now with all of this let's hop into it the too rich to miss podcast all right what the deal everybody welcome back to the show listen this particular topic it definitely hits a little different and this video may or may not get a ton of views but it's definitely something that needs to be said uh let me go over here we're going to be talking about guinea pigs yeah guinea pigs and and how this relates to this current vaccine that's going on um i just want to put some information out here once again this is all about uh making and causing you to think uh things to make you go hmm let me go and share my screen here now <laughs> now this here i was looking at at this particular article when it was talking about the five stages of vaccine development now uh, but this is the part right down here that i really want to bring to your attention to think about here and i know i know i know all of the other stuff that's going on and i know i know all that's involved and what's happening and with the 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 you know what's going on um but here's my thought here look at this what this um what dr jerome kim director of general director general of internal of international vaccine of the international vaccine institute said check this out the speed with which researchers and pharmaceutical companies have responded to the to that epidemic has been described as unprecedented, right? Then they go on to say, when we are used to five year time frames to see something go into human testing on March 17th, and I'll get to, I know we're in September, but follow me here. To go into human testing on March 17th is really a remarkable thing, he told CNBC. Does this guarantee success? Not necessarily. Vaccine development is characterized by a high failure rate, often 93% between animal studies and registration of a product. Now, then let's go over and let's talk about this individual right here. This is Mr. Walter M. Kimbrough, and you know me on this channel. I don't like to talk about people uh, because so many other people talk so well about other people and the only thing that i want to bring him up is he is the president as you can see of dillard university he is making the rounds he is making the rounds he was on uh roland martin unfiltered and talking about how he has volunteered oh i don't know if he volunteered or, or how's that going but he's taking the vaccine so when i say guinea pig um I'm not calling him a guinea pig. I'm just, you know, I'm just saying he decided to be one of the first ones to uh, to jump on board and and take the vaccine, quote unquote, the you know what it is, the <clears throat> vaccine. Right. You know, uh, and this is a vaccine that has come in record time that we have no idea what's really going to happen side effect wise and uh we have somebody that's a pretty high ranking individual in the international vaccine institute that was saying back in march that you're already testing this on humans hmm uh and then now we have a president of a hbcu that is actively on the on uh, out going out on the press campaign 
uh, going on a highly visible platform on Roland Martin talking about this vaccine. Uh, guinea pigs. I'm not saying he's a guinea pig. I'm just saying he's, you know, jumped on board to uh, to be one of the, you know, to be a leader in taking this vaccine, uh, which I personally am not going to partake in. But uh, that's just my personal choice. And I'm going to tell you the reason why. Because, see, it comes down to trust. Um, <laughs> and that's one of these words that you, you know, you can't, you have to see what people do. So this vaccine is coming from an administration. And I just want to ask you something. Um, do you think you can trust this administration? Uh, this particular individual was just in California. Um, shout out to the people out there. I mean, it's good. God almighty. It's terrible over there. What's going on over there? And someone just went over there and said it's on. You can pull it up. You can see it. Someone said it'll start getting cooler. You just you just watch. And a Wall and a Washington Post article has stated that this individual has put out more than 10,000 false or misleading claims. And this is the administration that has pushed out a vaccine for for the for the, you know, for the mm -mm -mm -mm. and that has come out in record time and in March he was this guy was taught this individual high-ranking individual uh, Dr. Jerome Kim said that uh, <laughs> was saying that um, it's unprecedented and they're normally used to five-year time frames for things to come about uh, we're not going to talk about Tuskegee we'll just leave that out we're going to talk about that we're not going to talk about you know all the all the other many things that we could talk about when it comes to uh, vaccines and we're not going to talk about the correlation between vaccines and um, <laughs> yeah we'll we'll just kind of you know you know you know you know we're not going to, you know, go down and we're not going to go down the conspiracy theory route here. Uh, and heaven forbid we actually start talking some real truth. Uh, but uh, this vaccine that is out right now, I'm sure they need people, you know, to try it. I'm sure they need people to try it, um, you know. And they need people to try to convince other people to try it. Uh, do what you feel, but um, how much do you really trust what's coming from these particular people that are pushing this vaccine? I mean, it's not like they didn't say anything misleading about the <clears throat> um you know you know or maybe that other reporter was took his words out of context or took the words that came out of their mouth out of context or something i don't know you know i don't know you know man you know i'm just a guy over here on youtube making videos with a great voice be sure to check me out and follow me on Two Rich to Miss on YouTube and follow me on Two Rich to Miss on Twitter. And as always, stay healthy. Do what's best for you. I'm just leaving it out there. I'm not calling him a guinea pig. He, I'm just saying he's, you know, one of the first ones to try the vaccine. I catch you on the next one. The Too Rich to Miss Podcast.